In this video, we will show you how to scan and the sonnet anatomy required to perform a PEX2 block. There are numerous potential indications for this block, such as breast surgery or any surgery involving the chest wall. It should reliably provide analgesia between T1 and T5. This block is usually performed with 30 ml of 0.25% levobupivacaine, divided into two injections, 10 ml between PEC major and PEC minor, and 20 ml between PEC minor and serratus anterior. Care should be taken when performing bilateral blocks to ensure that the toxic dose is not exceeded. We will now go through the neural innervation of the anterior chest wall and breast. This consists of the supraclavicular nerve to the superior aspect of the chest wall, the medial and lateral pectoral nerves responsible for sensory, motor and sympathetic innervation to the pectoral muscles, the thoracodorsal nerve responsible for innervation to latissimus dorsi, the long thoracic nerve responsible for innervation to serratus anterior, and the lateral and anterior intercostal cutaneous nerve branches of T2 to T6. In this illustration, we will go through the anatomy relevant to the pex block. Underneath the skin and subcutaneous tissue lies the clavicle and pectoralis major muscle. Deep to pectoralis major lies pectoralis minor, and in the plane between pec major and pec minor lie the pectoral branch of the thoracocromial artery and the lateral pectoral nerve. At the lateral border of pec minor, you will see serratus anterior and the lateral intercostal cutaneous branches. If we zoom in here on the image, you will identify that the medial pectoral nerve lies underneath pec minor and pierces it at its medial border to lie in the same plane as the lateral pectoral nerve along with the pectoral branch of the thoracochromial artery. To start scanning for the pex block, place the probe in a paramedial orientation, just making contact with the clavicle, similar to the position for an infraclavicular block. The image generated will look like this, with the clavicle demonstrated cephalad, the pectoralis major muscle superficially, deep to that pec minor, and you may also identify subclavius. Deep to the muscular structures, you'll identify the axillary artery, and the axillary vein. If a rib is visualised, it is likely to be the second rib, and you can see the pleura lying adjacent to it. From this initial scan position, the probe is slid down the patient's chest in a cordad direction, counting the ribs as you go. In this schematic, you can see pec major and pec minor, the interfascial plane between them, and the second and the third rib. Once the third rib is identified, the probe is rotated through 90 degrees and slid towards the lateral aspect of the chest wall. Once you've reached the lateral aspect of the pectoralis minor muscle, the image generated allows you to identify pec major, pec minor, one of the pectoral branches of the thoracochromial artery between the two of them, and the third and fourth rib. At this point, this is the optimal position to sight the pex block. Shown here is the needle insertion point over the anterior part of the chest, directed laterally. In this block video, you will see the needle introduced from the left-hand side of the screen, from the medial part of the chest wall, directed laterally. It's aiming to identify the fascial plane between pec major superficially and pec minor deep to it. As the local anaesthetic is spreading, you can identify the two pectoral branches of the thoracochromial artery and a hyperechoic structure on the left of them, which may well represent the lateral pectoral nerve. After 10 ml of local anaesthetic is injected, the needle is advanced through pec minor to identify the fascial plane between pec minor and serratus anterior. Injection of 20 ml of local anaesthetic here is causing this fascial plane to open up and local anaesthetic is directed laterally towards the axilla. Here are some tips to optimise your chances of success. Ensure that you have optimal ergonomics and positioning between yourself and the ultrasound machine. You can either stand on the contralateral side of the patient, needling along your line of sight, or stand at the head end of the patient. Although you can needle this block in or out of plane, we recommend in-plane needling to optimise needle tip visualisation. When performing the block, ensure that you identify the pectoral branches of the thoracochromial artery, the pleura, and the needle tip at all times. As an aid, you can use the superior surface of the third or the fourth rib as a target or a stopgap 
to ensure that the needle does not traverse deep to them towards the pleura. If performing bilateral blocks in patients less than 70 kg, you may need to dilute down your local anaesthetic to ensure that you don't go over the toxic level.